So this will be part 28 of our uh, complete application, this fleet management system version 2. And today I want us to just work on details page. Now, as I promised, I don't want to use JavaScript because as best practices, it's always good to avoid using script as much as possible. And we are using a microservices approach. So we want everything to be separated. So what I'm going to do now for the country uh, pages, we have the add, we have a date, we have list. Now I'm going to create one more page and this is perfectly okay to have different pages because this simplifies things very easily and so that when it, um, uh, some bug comes up, you know where it's coming from. So I'm going to create, actually the uh, details page is going to be the same as the edit page but it's not editable this time. So I'm going to uh, replicate the edit page. So I'm going to copy this, uh, the edit page and then paste it. And now you can see that always name it, uh, sorry, always name the pages using the first uh, part of the name should be the name of the object or the name of the table. And then the operation is going to be the remaining part. So in this case, it's going to be country details and, this, and it's going to be camel case. Country details. And this is fine. So two ways to make it to be a details page. One is simply remove the save button from this page. And number two, you can simply lock all the um, controls. So what do I mean? Or simply disable the save button. So first let's go to the list and let's link the details page. Uh, so instead of, I'm gonna copy this from the from the uh, edit link, because we have the edit link, the middle one, the blue one in the details. So I'm going to simply use it here. Okay. And simply change from here, I'm going to change it from edit to details. So in this case, you have our link to the details, uh, details page. And in the details page now, as I mentioned, you can simply uh, remove the save button or you can simply make everything to become read-only. So in this description, we're going to say read-only and do the same thing for the capital. It's going to be read-only and it's a read-only as well. Later, we're going to try to do a bit of cleanup, but it's going to also be read-only and the same thing here, read-only. And for the button here, instead of having submit, I'm going to simply set it to be disabled <laughs> so we are just trying to prevent anyone from doing anything funny and for this one i'm going to simply remove this action here okay so this is our details page and finally i'm going to go to the controller and sub up the details page and using the same similar code like the edit but in this case we are going to be subbing up the details page so here I'm going to say details and it's going to be details. I think everything should be fine. So change here to details as well. And what else? Um, yeah, so it's going to be details country. Okay, so I think this should be fine at this point. So we should be done with the details page now. So let me uh, run this application and let's see what we have. Perfect, so I'm going to refresh this and let me click on details. Yeah, so we have the details page now, we can't do nothing. The only thing we can do here is to go back. So you can actually change the exit page to back. So we have uh, save does not work, so we can't do nothing. So this is the details page, I'm going to exit. Now if you go to edit, edit is editable as you can see here. So I'd like to stop here. Please remember to subscribe to my channel by clicking on the subscribe button below. And if you have any challenges whatsoever following my, my lessons on this course, please let, let me know in the comment box below. Please also feel free to follow me on my social network profiles, uh, Twitter, LinkedIn, Facebook, and try to reach out to me. I remain kind on the Tech Pro, and I'm always there for you.